Hi guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a minute, I've missed you. Uh, since I've been gone, I've turned 30. I cut my hair. I got a new tattoo. <laughs> We had a completely renovated home. Um, we've had some health scares, some health journeys to go on, lots of mental health issues. It's been a lot. Life has been kind of tough and great, but also tough lately. And I just need a little bit of, break, of a break. Um, I love doing what I do. I love being able to film and make content for you guys and just be in this community. It's amazing and it's so much fun for me. But at the same time, it can be really hard and really anxiety inducing and there is a constant pressure to constantly be creating content 24 7 um, to remain relevant or just to grow your channel or grow your influence or whatever what have you ever want to say it just to grow your business um, to continue to be able to like support your family and make money it can be really exhausting um, and it can really put a damper on your mental health and I now have really seen the benefit of just especially with COVID and um, Some losses and all that type of stuff. We have definitely had to take multiple breaks I've definitely had to take multiple breaks because it's just not a very healthy environment for me sometimes and so I took a break, but I'm back and I'm really excited to start filming again. My girls go back to school next week full time and my husband starts a new job and so we're all starting new routines and doing big new things and um, I can't wait to start getting back into the swing of filming again for you guys and creating content especially because it is my favorite time of the year coming up. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that. So thank you for coming. Thank you if you're back. I've missed you and I'm so thankful for you that you're here. But without further ado, you probably clicked on this video because you wanted to see a back to school haul and that's what I'm going to show you. So if you've never seen my channel before, um, hi, my name is Sarah and you should follow me on Instagram as well as here if you would like. I'd love that. Um, and I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she is six and she will be going into first grade. And my youngest is Eleanor and she is four and she will be going into pre-K. Now Olive did her kindergarten year completely virtual learning at home. Um, she did it through our local district, but she did virtual learning. So this is technically her first official year at elementary school. And so there's a lot of new things that we're facing and new challenges that we're learning and trying to kind of get in a routine of too, because this is also, even though it's her first grade year, it's kind of new for everyone. Um, but in our local area, we live in Texas and in our local district, schools are open completely. Um, there is no option for virtual learning. And while I was so thankful that that was an option last year, it definitely, definitely affected my kids mentally. Uh, I was really, really hard. So I'm very much looking forward to them being able to go back to school and I know they're very excited for it. But if you have little ones who are virtual learning still or if you're expecting shutdowns in your area or what have you, I do have a whole, um, not playlist, but I think I actually think it is a playlist, but I do have a number of videos from last year um, that deal with virtual learning um, and at, creating an at home classroom, a bunch of virtual learning supplies, um, a day of virtual learning, what that looks like for us, all the type of stuff. So if that's something that you guys are kind of coming up on, um, then you should check that out if you're virtual learning. But if your kids are going back to school, then I have stuff for you <laughs> to show you. So, like I said, my oldest is going to um, first grade and she's very excited, but we also had to buy a lot of things that we didn't have last year because she was at home. So, I don't really know where to start. Um, I guess I'll just quickly kind of get some of the lunch stuff out of the way real quick. Lunch and backpacks and stuff like that. So the girls did pick out new lunch boxes this year. Um, we bought these both at Walmart. Um, you know, they wanted, I was trying to like back off and not be too like, no, we need this. So I let them pick what they wanted. Eleanor picked this one. She's still obsessed with LOL. Um, it has a bunch of sequins in it. It actually feels pretty nicely made. So I have hopes that it will last a while. It was only like $9, um, but it feels pretty nice. So fingers crossed, this does fit a Bentco box and I believe a Yum box. Those were my biggest things because that's what we typically use our Bento containers. Um, this one does fit it. And then Ollie picked this one. This is from Arctic Zone. 
Um, they did have a couple of other colors, but this has like unicorns and rainbows and kind of tie-dye. It's really cute. It did come with this little sandwich container as well as um, this water bottle and an ice pack that's really cool. Um, that's like a gel pack and it has like unicorns all over it. Um, but I put it in the freezer already. But this one, even though I was concerned about it, it does also fit um, a regular like a bench go box and I believe the yum box. So that was my biggest thing for me because I wanted to make sure those fit. And then we also got these just to have some extra ones on hand. These are the Sistema Back to School Bento Cubes. Um, they picked out these colors. It just is like, you open it up, looks like this. Um, it has like little multiple layers and spots. And then this can be like dips and dressings and ranches and hummus and all that type of stuff. And um, this one also is layered. So there's a lot you can fit in these. I really like them. These are the first times I've, I've gotten these before, and I'm excited to start using them. So these are both of the ones that they picked out. We bought these both at Walmart, and I think these were only like four bucks or five. Like they were, they were under five, so I believe. <laughs> but really, really good buy for these. I would definitely recommend them if you um, want to do like bento, bento lunches or just, um, you know, reusable things. Cut down the waste. Those are really nice. I also picked up these two ice packs from uh, Target. These are Cat and Jack, uh, just this really cute kitty cat, and then the little unicorn. I really like gel packs. Um, I just find that they are easier when you have a giant bento thing to fit in there. Okay, let me show you their um, backpacks. So first off, let me just say, this is the one Eleanor picked. This was from Walmart. This year, I went honestly like so basic. The most of the places I shopped at were Walmart and Target. Um, just because it was just the easiest. Man, I got really behind this year with back to school shopping. But this Eleanor picked out, it's from Wonder Nation. It is pretty nice, I mean, it's a big, big old backpack and it does come with this extra like little pouchette that says love. Really cute, holographic, totally Eleanor. However, I ordered this online, it was only $16.88. I actually think I got it on sale for $14, I wanna say. Um, I ordered it online and it came in and it smells, like fish like fish food it is so stinky and i'm guessing it's the type of like plastic that they used but i have left this to air out for like two weeks now and the smell has gotten better but it hasn't completely dissipated and i just i it's gross so um i don't want to put like her lunch box and all that stuff in here extra pair of clothes all of those things for her and it smell like fish so we are returning this one um, I just want you to keep in mind that they do have a couple of those types of ones at Walmart. And although, again, they're really, really cute, um, all the reviews also say that they all smell weird. So just keep in mind if you see these on Walmart.com, I will have it linked for you um, that they do smell fishy. I haven't seen it in store, so maybe it doesn't smell like that in store, but at least shopping online it did. All right. Uh, we ended up going with this one from Target for Eleanor. This is more than magic line. Um, it's just a really bright, soft pink that is like holographic and it has these like embroidery patches on it with this fun pom-pom keychain. Also really cute, nicely made, some mesh on the back. Um, back. I think this was like $19 or something like that. It was um, a little bit more expensive than the other one, but I do feel like it's a bit better made. Um, but we'll see. It's cute. I mean, she doesn't need anything super intense. She's only going to school Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and she's in pre-K, so she's not taking a whole lot with her. Um, but that is hers. And then Ollie picked this one out. This one was from uh, Target or Walmart, and this was $14.88. Um, and this was from Wonder Nation um, from Walmart, and it looks like this. Super cute. Has these fun like little patches on it. Girl power. Be cool. Love. Fab. And then the back has rainbow straps with some lightning bolts um really cute i mean it's it's pretty basic but it's cute hopefully it holds up through the year we'll see um but yeah i liked it she liked it super cute that's her uh, backpack all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into their clothes i'm gonna start with eleanor now eleanor does not have as many as Olive because she is only going Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we have a lot of hand-me-downs from Ollie, and Ellie is more than happy. She's been waiting to be able to fit into them, so I don't have as many for her, but I did get her a number of things just so she didn't feel left out. 
So the first thing I got is from Walmart. This is from Wonder Nation. Most of their Wonder Nation stuff I love. Like I just love the Wonder Nation line from Walmart. It's so inexpensive and so cute. It's this cute little like pitiful jumper dress with this adorable ribbed rainbow shirt with little lettuce sleeves and the little denim uh, little overall pitiful dress on top. I did get this in a 5T. Um, I haven't tried it on her. I'm sure it'll fit just fine. It's normally this size we get. It's probably gonna be a little bit big because she's kind of tiny, but it's really cute. Um, I think this was like $9, $6. It was very inexpensive online. And then um, I also got a pack of leggings. These came in a three pack, but I can't seem to find the other pair. But they came in a three pack. Um, and the other, the other pair is just like a gray, but they had kittens on them. Eleanor's favorite animal is a cat. So I knew I had to get these for her. They're really soft, like buttery soft. These are in a four or five. Um, they fit her really well, extra small. So these are technically in the girl section and not the toddler section anymore, but they fit her really well. And this also came with a little um, unicorn ones. Thought these were adorable. Um, so I got her these. And then I also got a pack of um, little shirts to wear on top. I think these just came in a two pack. Um, I don't remember the prices of the packs, but I will try to have everything linked below. But again, those really cute little ribbed tees with little lettuce sleeves and then the bottoms. Um, these will probably wait until it gets a little bit cooler because it is so hot in Texas right now. But this looks adorable on her. I love the cute, it has like little flowers on it. It's adorable. Um, and then just a basic cream one as well. So those go for that she's so excited to wear those she thinks they're the cutest freaking things on the planet i also picked this one up from drew animals this looks huge this is a 4t and i think this will fit my oldest so i got this to go with some pants but i think this is way too big for her so this may probably end up in olive's um stash because it's ginormous comparatively so this is the extra small four five from Wonder Nation. This is Duranimals 4T. And as you can see, like it is way big. So I will definitely probably hand this over to Ollie. She will probably get more wear out of that because that one's, it's huge. Um, I also picked up this cute little shirt from Wonder Nation. I loved it. Um, just cheetah. Eleanor's everything into cats and cheetah print and this is just so gosh darn cute. It looks adorable on her. And then um, my mom picked out this dress from her from Kohl's. This is from Jumping Bean. Again, going to cheetah print. We just got lots of basics, easy wear clothes. Um, in the past, I have been very big into making sure I get like all the cutest outfits and all of the stuff and but it's just so complicated and they don't like it because it's uncomfortable so we're just getting easy breezy clothes for school again I said this in my summer kids clothing haul and I stand by this now every time I shop this is my biggest tip for when buying clothes every time I shop for my kids now I make sure I have a top and a bottom or a dress or whatever it is but it's a full complete outfit because in the past I've been like oh I'll buy five shirts and I'm sure they have shorts oh I'll get like one pair of shorts but they have tons at home and then it ends up they're not getting those full outfits like worn they're maybe wearing one of those shirts or two of those shirts but I can't ever find the bottoms so I buy things as a set that's the outfit it goes together now of course they can mix and match if they would like to I'm not like no you can never wear that like that but just so everything is just like, here's a pair. It's just easy grabbing in the morning, especially when it's super early. Everything has its little mate and little pair. Of course, if it's dresses, it's a little bit different. Um, but that is my biggest tip. And I told you guys that in my last video. And I know it seems so obvious, but it's something that I never did before. And so many of you guys have said the same thing and that you're going to start using it. So I hope it's helpful. All right. So... Um, this next thing my mom picked up for Olive, it is just this basic pink tee and then she got her these um, leggings to go with it that are hearts. This looks like Valentine's Day. I wonder if she can save it and wear it for that. Um, this, oh no, these are Eleanor's. This is also Eleanor's. This was super cute. This is from Walmart, but it's from the brand Forever Me and it's this adorable rainbow little dress and it comes with a little rainbow scrunchie. Um, Eleanor does not have a dress code, 
hers as long as she can like it doesn't have a whole bunch of complicated buttons or zippers and stuff and she can go potty by herself and put everything back on she is able to wear with whatever so she can wear a little spaghetti strap dress like this and i will probably have her wear this on the first day because i think it is so freaking cute um and it came in a two pack it came with this little dress um, which is a really fun tie-dye dress. These do run a tiny bit big on her, but I still think they're adorable and she could easily get away. I mean, they're not too big. Um, oh, here was the gray pair of pants that came in that three pack of leggings. Um, I got her these from Jumpy Bean from Kohl's. Again, she just loves leopard and cheetah, so she found these and had to have them. Um, and then my mom picked out this little sloth tee we haven't figured out where we're wearing that one with yet but my mom also got her this little scooter skirt and then this butterfly shirt which from these are all from kohl's this is like a fun tie-dye one and then a butterfly scooter skirt so um that is all for eleanor for clothes wise because she just doesn't eat as much as her sister does and she has a lot of hand-me-downs except for this my girls tell me if any of your little ones love the zombie movie they discovered it on disney plus they watch it all the time so i found these um zombies two teas this is addison they both just love her and they want to be her for halloween this year so um this is one of the shirts that i got this is one out for eleanor um just for fun and then for shoes i did get eleanor a pair of little sneakers i will add be adding more to their collection when the winter comes and we get more into like boot season but right now these are the ones that i have these are from athletic works and these are size 10 they're really really cute they do light up which is really fun um and they're rainbow and i just think that they're really fun for her and perfect for just easy breezy days at school uh, they still have you know sandals and stuff that they can wear during the day as well let's jump into ollie's because we got a lot so for ollie i did buy a couple things at target um when they were having quite a big sale recently so i've got this cat and jack little t-shirt um with the like patchwork design on it and then i got um these leggings to match they look ginormous they look giant. Um, I don't know if these are gonna fit. They may be too big, but they have like matching patches and stuff. So that's one little set for Ollie. Um, here is her Addison t-shirt. This will be fun for Halloween. Um, this little set I got from Walmart. Um, it came with this little pink, light pink shirt and then this little dress over it. Over it. I remember these being so big when I was um, younger and I didn't want to wear them like I don't feel like they were like the cool thing to wear when we were kids and now they're all the cool thing to wear it's so funny how things like turn back around but I remember my mom buying me so many of these sets and I didn't want to wear like the shirt underneath it like I wanted to just wear the dress and I couldn't obviously but um, it's just so funny how things turn around like that anyway but Ollie loves this it's just really cute really dainty that's like totally her vibe right now and so she picked that out from Walmart um here's another set I believe this one's from Wonder Nation um yes it's this really pretty lilac colored blouse with a matching little hair tie and then the pants are butterfly but they're like little flare bell bottoms they're so cute on her she looks adorable so we have this little set she looks so cute in it um i definitely feel like these run big but ollie i just feel like she's smaller than most kids her age so maybe that's why these this isn't a six and i feel like it's a little big but not terrible most of the clothes actually are a little bit too big on her um i did end up going to get this dress from walmart um it is from the children's place they do have a bunch of children's place stuff on there i sized up to a medium and i wish i would have kept with a small probably an extra small because it's going to be big but i do um i know this is holiday but i like to buy holiday stuff when it's still clearance during the summertime um but and it sells out so fast but i do i don't mind it being bigger i like it being bigger um because they can wear it for longer so hopefully come christmas time it's not too big on her but if not we can just save it for the next year and then i'm even sure she probably can fit it after that but i got this on sale for like nine bucks or something on walmart and i just thought it was so cute and fun for when the holiday season rolls around 
Um, this is a new line from Walmart that's very cute. It's themed by Ariella and um, it's this like young girl who like designs all these clothes. It's so super cute. This was in a size small. They don't go smaller than that. Um, but they definitely, this is too big for her. It's a seven, eight, but she'll be able to grow into this. It's this really nice, it's really nice quality ribbed, cute little top. It does come with this tie dye, uh, hair tie scrunchie. And then this shirt that matches the tie or the skirt that matches the tie dye hair scrunchie. Um, again, these are like really nice quality, nice and thick and durable. Um, but I do think they're a little bit too big for Ollie right now. So it's probably something she would fit a little bit better next year, but at least we have it. Next, we have this. Um, again, those two piece like shirt and dress set overneath it. This is from Art Class by Target. I got this when they were having their sale. Um, it's just a basic ribbed white tee and then the little black dress that goes on top with little butterflies. I love this, it's so cute. I think this is probably going to be the outfit she wears on the first day of school. And we just ordered her some lace up Doc Martens, um, fake <laughs> Doc Martens, and I think it's gonna be so cute together. So I think that's what she's gonna wear on the first day of school and I cannot wait. Moving on. Um, I bought this set for her from Target. Again, the I couldn't buy enough of these, like ribbed little lettuce tees. I think they're so cute and you can wear them with everything. So um, this is from Cat and Jack. I really liked them. And then I got her a pair of Cat and Jack leggings. These ones are just white with big black hearts on them and she can wear that together i also got this pair of like cheetah print leggings um but i thought the like actual cheetah print was black but it's actually navy blue so we're on the hunt for a top to match this i haven't quite figured it out which which one yet so i love your advice of what you think i should put with this um but i did get a pair of these Next, um, again, another one of those just basic little lettuce sleeve shirts, rib shirts from Cat and Jack, and then to go with it is this art class skirt. This is so cute. Um, I love this, it makes me think of Clueless slash like Mean Girls, but like nice, you know? <laughs> anyway, so cute. Um, this is runs a little bit big, I would say as well. Probably could have sized down to an extra small, but it's something she can wear and grow into. There isn't a whole lot of stretch with it, so that's okay. Um, because when she does like fit it, it'll last a little bit longer than if I size down and be a little snug. So really cute. It is long enough for her to be able to wear to school. So we have that little set, which I think she's going to be adorable in. Um, I did get this dress which i think is really cute but i think it's going to be a little bit too big again this is by that brand from walmart themed by ariel uh, ariella really cute tie-dye dress and it's layered and ruffled this isn't a 7 8 and it's just a little bit too big um plus it's off the shoulder i was hoping it would she could wear it on her shoulders but it's just too big so it looks a little bit too overwhelming so this is probably more likely going to be something that she can wear to church um or you know like two different events that she doesn't have to have as strict of a no spaghetti strap kind of dress code sort of situation so really cute it, it's a bit big but she can fit into it so we're, we're moving through guys i know this is a lot um i got this really cute little dress from walmart it is from pink and violet it came in a set so it's this butterfly um, dress and then it came with this butterfly necklace and then a little like lace scarf so a full little set i think it'll be really cute with some like riding boots during the fall time um adorable little set super inexpensive walmart heck, you can find such good little cute sets online that are really cheap i would highly recommend checking that out all right another little dress um again from walmart just fun tie-dye and in the back it has this little cutout with a bow just easy shift play school dress um i did get this adorable denim vest from target this is in a size small and she can wear this with so many of the outfits that i picked out i love it i think it is so cute and just to add a little extra flair a little extra pizzazz i think it's so adorable so i did get her this they do have a lighter wash one that i kind of want to get too <laughs> um just so they can both share and have both but it's so cute i love it so she has that and then this is a little set from walmart this brand runs 
ginormous so just keep that in mind this is a size small i don't know if they go smaller than that it's from social edition it's really cute little top um with like little flowers on it but the pants i mean i don't know who they're fitting but they're not a six-year-old so um I'm debating if I want to return this. Ollie loves the shirt, so she's kind of wanting me to keep it. But, I mean, I don't know whenever she could actually fit these pants. But by that time, they're probably going to be out of style. Um, but she loves the shirt. So, it wasn't really expensive. I think it was under $10. So, I may keep it just so she, because she loves the shirt. But, good gracious. Keep in mind, if you do order from that line, the social edition line, it runs very large. All right, another little set from Wonder Nation. Um, really cute, little fun rainbow heart, tropical-y, not tropical, just bright uh, print. And then this corduroy style jumper over top. They have this in a bunch of different colors. I want to get um, one that, they have like one that's kind of fall colored and they have a yellow one. I want to get the other two. Um, to match because I think they're so cute and perfect for fall. So anyway, really cute, really lightweight. I feel like it's going to be really comfortable for her to wear. So that little set from Walmart. We're making it through, friends. Uh, this other little dress, again, Walmart. Um, I think it's from that same line, freestyle, just this really cute unicorn dress with a cutout in the back. Um, this was from that this was from that social edition line. Again, runs really big, but if I roll the pants, it's not super bad. Um, but they are really adorable butterfly pants, and then the shirt is adorable as well. The shirt looks like this with like little lace sleeves. Really cute, but again, runs very, very large. So absolutely would size down one to two sizes if you are getting these for your littles. Um, I got this dress from Jumping Bean. It's in a size six. Really, really pretty on her. It's like very flutter sleeved. It looks so pretty. I love it. Little unicorn dress. Um, I also got this from uh, Kohl's uh, Jumping Bean. This really cute scooter skirt that's floral and has ruffles to it in layers. And then she can tuck this little shirt that says stay kind in it. And it looks really cute together. And then... We're almost there. <laughs> then my mom got her, again, these little scooter skirts um, from Kohl's. This one is like this really pretty rust color and she got it to go with this little unicorn shirt. And then this yellow skirt, also very pretty, she got with this flutter sleeve white shirt. And then she also got her um, that same kind of combo of the hearts, but um, leggings and then a purple top, which I actually think would look really cute with that denim vest. And then um, another unicorn dress because you can never have too many unicorns, just a basic play dress. And then um, I did pick up a couple of Wonder Nation leggings for her. These look a little bit big, so I may end up having to go size down to an extra small. Um, but just to be able, because I mean, this is what she'll wear super easily with a bunch of extra tops. Um, and then we're coming to the end. For those extra tops, I got this Wonder Nation top. It's the same one as that cheetah one that I got for Ellie, but this one's floral. So cute. I also got this butterfly top. This is from Sugar and Diamonds from Walmart. Um, and it's this really, really soft little butterfly button down and then it ties at the front and it comes with two different scrunchies. Really cute. So many shirts come with scrunchies now, um, which I don't mind. I love it. And then this little top, which is from Wonder Nation. She probably won't be able to wear this until it cools down, but it's a really, really cute, fun unicorn top. And then, um, I got, I did get her a pair of PJs because... She is not fitting most of her PJs anymore because she keeps growing. So these um, were $10 at Target and it says rolling into the weekend. And I just thought it was so gosh darn cute with the little ringer shorts and the little um, roller skates. I just loved it. So I got her that. And then um, I also got her a pair of biker shorts. They have a bunch of different pattern biker shorts at Walmart. These are the Wonder Nation brands, but I just got the basic black and white so she can wear them under her dresses at school. I did get a size 6 and I'm wishing I got a size 4 or 5, but alas, I got a size 6. Um, 
And then I got her these pair of jeans, which I'm contemplating taking back. Uh, they are from Geranimals, 365 Kids, um, and they have all these little embroidery little gems on them, but they just look so dated to me. They're supposed to be like the cool hip mom jeans, but I just, I don't know. I don't love them, so I'm actually probably going to end up taking these ones back, but if you like them, they are there. They're just not my vibe, and I don't think that they're going to be Ollie's vibe either. So, um, lastly, they're also, my mom did get her a little denim scooter skirt as well. I think that is all it for clothes. I mean, it's getting ridiculous, but I think I showed you all the clothes. So let's quickly finish this up. Um, for her shoes so far, we have just a pair of black um, little ballet flats. I will get some more shoes for her um, when the weather starts changing, but right now they should be good. And then I also got her these from Walmart. The ballet flats from Walmart are like, these are $5.87. So I definitely recommend them, super cheap. And then these are Wonder Nation from Walmart as well. And these were $16.87 and they're unicorn and just really cute and easy to run in and play in as well. So those are her shoes. Um, all right, moving on. So uh, in the past we have done, um, Backpack Fairy, who's been a wonderful little companion, and she's coming back as soon as well. So she left a couple things for us to show. It's just some fun little goodies to get your kids just excited and pumped. You can give them on the first day, or maybe um, the night before, or the day before, or wh wherever. Just like some fun little things just to get them like pumped and excited. So um, with that, we have Ollie wanted this really beautiful <laughs> i love the front cover anything by the made by magic line or more than magic or whatever from target is so cute so this is a dollar 50 at target it's really cute all of her um school supplies are very specific for her group and her age and so she doesn't get a lot of personalization so this is just more for her for at home i also got them each a new pack of markers these are mondo llama llama mondo llama from um Target. We've never tried this line from them before, but they literally go through markers like it's nobody's business. So um, these were really inexpensive, so I figured we'd try them out. So we got broad tip and fine line, classic marker, fine tip. So they each have a pack of those. And then um, they did both pick um, a container for their school supplies. So um, Ollie actually needs this for her actual school, but Eleanor, I just got it for her to have to keep her markers and whatever else she likes to put in it. Um, and then Ollie actually picked this one out, but then she changed her mind later, so we're gonna keep it anyway, but it says pug, and I just can't not, because <laughs> if you guys don't know, we have a pug named Frank, and he's the love of my life, besides my husband. So anyway, she picked that out. Um, and then the last couple of things are little fun surprises that they don't know about. Um, like the markers these will be going to them like the day before um, there's a couple other things that are coming in the mail I got them both each a new Leo because they're both in gymnastics again um, so I got them each both a new Leo and then I also got um, a lanyard and a mask um, holder for Olive and then I think that might be it I think that might be it. I'm not positive. I don't know. I've lost track of time. Anyway, these are the other things that are going to be kind of their backpack fairy thing. So we have this Jojo Siwa bow. This was from Walmart, but it's tie-dyed. has like a fun unicorn. They still love Jojo Siwa. They still love bows. So I thought this was really cute. Um, Justice is now at Walmart and their stuff is so cheap. This was like three bucks and it's like a velvet leopard cheetah bow, which I thought was really cute. Um, and then Justice also has these two twisters, but just like scrunchies with the little like silk bows at the bottom. Fun tie-dye one with a pink one. And then um, I got a pack of necklaces. These are from Wonder Nation. Um, butterflies and hearts and rainbows and they are so into jewelry and accessorizing. Ollie has been begging, begging for best friend necklaces. So I found these at Target and I thought these were so cute. They're little 
uh, unicorns with BFFs and I feel like these are perfect for both of them to wear because it's the first time they're really going to be apart for a long period of time especially after spending the whole year together last year non-stop so I know that they're going to be a little homesick for each other so um, one for Ellie one for Ollie and they can wear them and I know Ollie's going to be so excited I also bought a new pack of masks um, these are Cat and Jack's uh, the rainbows and hearts on them. They have a ton of the uh, masks for them there. Um, a new pair, a pack of socks. These are really cute from Wonder Nation. Bunch of unicorns, corgi corns apparently. Um, just cute little pack of socks. And then a fun pin for Olive. I had put a squishy pin down at Target, but they ran out of them so I'm not getting that but that was supposed to be for Eleanor but this is one for Ollie too it's her first like changing the color pen you know um so cute so fun she's gonna freak out so these are more than magic I think this was like two dollars it was really inexpensive but it's fun and I know she's gonna like it and then um for Eleanor I got these packs of bracelets from Cat and Jack um she loves bracelets and so these are like the little kind of hair tie scrunchy ones um and they have a bunch of cute charms on them so there's like a little star a little rainbow a little cat just really cute and fun for her um so i got her a pack of those and then i also got them a pack of these uh color changing tumblers i know these are like super popular right now we haven't had any of them before um, but I think these are going to take up a lot less space than the cups that we currently have and um, They're really cute. and I know that the, they're gonna love the fact that they color change. So um, I got a pack of these for them to share And I believe friends we have come to the end of the video. That was way too long <laughs> Um, but I hope that um, you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some ideas. Again, the, ma the main places I shopped this year were mostly at Walmart, some at Target, um, and a little bit at Kohl's. But for the most part, I would say 99% of everything really came from Walmart. Um, but and they're just such good prices and so many really cute things. I definitely would take a gander on their website, way more stuff online than in store. And so much of the stuff you can get in like two days and you know, ships free with like $25. So I absolutely love Walmart. I know some people are just, you know, they don't love it, but it's, it has come through for me time and time again. So I'm so excited for the girls to start. I can't wait for them to just enjoy being back in school and making friends and all of those things. I'm a little sad. It's really the first time that I won't have anybody with me. It's kind of weird. It's kind of hard and I'm a little sad about it, but I'm looking forward to be able to film more of you guys and kind of get into a more solid routine. Coming up, well, you will have our fall decorate with me really soon. I cannot believe I'm already gonna start decorating for fall. Maybe some fall shop with me, some more plus size fashion hauls that are more fall related as well. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for all those things. Also, let me know below if you guys wanna see some school lunch videos. I've had a lot of you guys in the past ask for those, but are you guys still interested in school lunch videos? And would you like to see more what's for dinner videos? I haven't done a what's for dinner, what's for dinner video in quite a long time. I honestly just got burnt out of them. Um, but let me know if you guys are interested in still seeing those. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Just tell me below, what is something that you guys really wanna see from this channel? So. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much, so much, so much for watching. Um, I hope you are all keeping safe and staying healthy. And I'm thinking about all of you and those of you who are starting back at school or have little ones starting back at school. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.